Okay, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a sticky header that is interactive. Uh, the caveat here is that it is always interactive, so it will come back down uh, in its open state on scroll. And uh, that's just a limitation of Figma at the time. But hopefully that's all going to change uh, on June 22nd here at config. Um, but here we go expanding interactive component that sticks when you scroll. So I've already got my little nav item made, which is fine. Um, you can see it. It works, but it, it, it doesn't work as is, um, just based on the nature of the sticky header. So. <clears throat> To make this a component that's interactive, we're actually going to drag it out here. I'm going to put it in its own frame. So I'm going to frame that. I'm going to add auto layout. I'm going to give a buffer of about oh, maybe 50. Okay. And we're going to make it top centered. So that's going to give us the buffer uh, at the top to avoid the notch, <clears throat> basically in the iPhone. And I'll call this interactive sticky header. Right, I'm going to make it a component. I'm going to add a new variant. And this will be open. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this full width. So instead of hug, I'm going to switch this 390. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just set the background color to be the same as my bar color so that we're filling the screen. Good stuff. Now we're going down, so what I want to do now is create my actual menu. So I'll type in here, maybe count. And then I'll add things, profile. We'll just make a little mini nav here. So I'll put these at like 16. profile right let's make this nice and big give you some breathing room so they're clickable we'll make this set these guys to an auto layout of their own that make this bookings this will be history browse doesn't have to be perfect it's just an example so take those Auto layout, switch them like that. Fill container. Set those guys to fill container. And then this guy will probably give padding to as well. So I'm just going to make this. There we go. And then we'll maybe put a line in.
gap a little bit just so we got some breathing room. I don't see on this one, I think. We'll leave it. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put this guy in a container because I need this center aligned, but I kind of want him off on his own. This guy will change to okay. So now we we'll just do a quick prototype. So the only caveat here is you have to do instant, and I'll show you why in a minute. Because um, animations at the moment kind of screw things up. So now, if we drop that guy in there and run our prototype, you can see we've got our padding. Nope. Oh, forgot to set that to sticky. We've got our padding, and when we click, we get a, an open state that fills the screen looks pretty good easy to do now I'll show you that one issue if we change our prototype just to be smart animate it actually gives us some positioning issues so here I think if it's at the bottom it's not bad but once you actually scroll it goes wonky and I'm not sure why. I'm sure it has to do with the way it positions during the animation. But for now, unfortunately, we'll have to do instant. There you have it. A sticky header on scroll that is interactive. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my Patreon channel. And we'll see you next time.